PUBG Mobile is making a return, Apex Legends won't be bringing quads, and a new gameplay of Resident Evil 8 makes it look more like Resident Evil 4. Hello and what's up everybody, welcome to Gamer Connect and you guys are watching a new episode of Top Gaming News where I discuss about the news of the week. The biggest news of the week is PUBG Mobile because it seems to be coming back to India. This time the game is going to be distributed by PUBG Corporation, the team who made PUBG. Earlier PUBG Mobile was made by Tencent which gave a low version of the game to the mobile which got very much popular all over Asia. Earlier this year, the government decided to ban PUBG Mobile and 115 other Chinese apps. The reason, given that the app is engaged in activities that are prejudicial to sovereignty and integrity, defense and security of the country. But now that PUBG wants to bring back PUBG Mobile to India, the government's decision stands. Unless PUBG Corporation addresses these issues, the government won't give a pass to PUBG Mobile. PUBG Corporation has however said that the security and privacy of Indian data will be their higher priority. The company will hold regular audits and verification on storage systems holding Indian users so that they can make sure to reinforce security and ensure that the data is safe. Crafton Incorporated also announced that they want to invest $100 million in India. Crafton is a holding company to which PUBG Corporation is a subsidiary of. Also, South Korea's Bluehole company has founded Crafton and PUBG Corporation is their internal studio. In addition to that, PUBG Corporation has also set an Indian base where it would employ 100 people to enhance communication and services. PUBG Mobile became so popular in India that PUBG always wanted to bring that game back ever since it was banned. But in order for the government to give an approval for PUBG Mobile to be launched in India, they have to change certain things so that government can go for an approval. If the game comes back, my friend will finally not complain about being bored at night, as if there is no other game to play. It's great that PUBG Corporation wants PUBG Mobile to come back to India, but they have to face hurdles which make it a little bit hard for them to launch the game in India. I would rather play PUBG Mobile than playing a game called Forgy because it looks absolutely horrible. With Season 7 of Apex Legends, they introduced sort of a new system to their battle pass that allowed slow progression and more grind which players immediately responded to and Apex changed it a lot. They reduced the amount of XP needed to gain a new star to half the amount and now they're reducing even more. The daily challenges for Season 7 has brought down to Season 6 levels where the damage per character target has been reduced from 1000 to 250 and the damage per weapon class has been reduced from 1250 to 250. Those are massive changes. There are more such changes that has been added to the game so that people can find it easier to finish it. Sheesh, looks like people don't like challenges. Recently, Respawn devs went to Reddit for people to ask them questions and one of them was whether there will be quads added to the game and the answer was a big no. To be fair, it's great to have trios in Apex Legends because it started that way and I would rather play a trios than having quads. And this is exactly the same explanation that they also gave. According to the design director of Apex, he says that trios is their sweet number and they never plan to release it with quads. They did test it, but for them it was chaos. He mentioned some of the things such as main menu, loot, the banners in the game are all designed for three people and if they give enough effort, they can add a fourth one, but they just don't want to. Some people also talked about how there is so less content in Apex Legends. There's very few LTMs, that is limited time mode events in Apex Legends. And for those who are complaining about that, here's the reply. We also refuse to crunch the team. So we'll probably be slower at making content than if we worked 15 hour days, but that's not something we are willing to do. We have nearly doubled our team size since launch to accommodate the content demands. So we are really trying to bring you quality content at a healthy pace. The company that doesn't crunch is a good company. At least that's what they say, we don't actually know everything. But to be honest, there is enough content in Apex Legends. I actually liked the less amount of limited time mode events because, I mean, we are grinding in this game. I would rather have less limited time modes or uh, content in Apex Legends than having so many more contents in games like Sea of Thieves where people are just fed up with the amount of content they're pushing out. Halo Infinite received an underwhelming response after the gameplay showcase where many stated that visually the game isn't appealing at all. Now the game has shifted its release date and also many people have left 343 Industries but Phil Spencer says that everything is fine. 
This reassurance came after several devs left 343 Studios. Tim Longo left 343 last year, who was replaced by Mary Olsen, who also left the studio this year. Halo Infinite Studio Director also left the project and now Halo Master Chief Collection Head of Publishing, Pierre Hinze and veteran Halo writer Joseph Staten was added to the project in August 2020, following the underwhelming response for Halo Infinite. The team has also taken the feedback seriously to the gameplay reveal and Phil Spencer says that it was a miss on our part to reveal the game and later on delay the launch but they are sure that they are working on the game so that everybody gets what they want and more importantly that the performance of the game and the quality of the game stays the way they always wanted to. Even though Halo Infinite wasn't looking good, Xbox Series X on the other hand is doing pretty well. People are so happy to see Xbox Series X that they're making sure to make it look damaged by various means. Way to go Xbox haters! Speaking of Xbox, PlayStation very recently released a video with tennis player Naomi Osaka testing out the new PlayStation 5. I still don't know why they do that and not bring a content creator or a gamer but that's fine. The first part was showing some gameplay of Miles Morales but the second part was all Resident Evil 8. There was a lot that was shown in the gameplay such as the werewolves who are being more of a human type enemy than the enemy type we saw in Resident Evil 7. Resident Evil 8 also is going to be played in an abandoned village which is very similar to that of Resident Evil 4 but that's not it because apparently the character can run, jump and even slide which are big additions to the Resident Evil games ever since they went with the reboot. One of the clips showed that you pushed a shelf to block the window or a door. So maybe it could be possible that it becomes a mechanic in the game. But still we cannot say because you were in that particular location. Maybe that is what the game wanted you to do as a cutscene. But who knows, maybe in the entirety of the game, you have to push certain objects to block certain pathways. Now that was also something that was there in Resident Evil 4, which seems to be the biggest inspiration for Resident Evil 8. I mean, I could be wrong, but maybe they are trying to make it similar or trying to have the same vibes as Resident Evil 4. The game looks amazing with snow effects and it also has the same feeling of Resident Evil 7 when you go inside a house where there is no lights. With Resident Evil 7 reimagining the Resident Evil games with first person, Resident Evil 8 is probably going to be even better with a much larger space as they have already conveyed in a video a few months ago. The game will be coming out on PC, PS4, Xbox and the next gen console as well and I cannot wait to play that game. Wrestling fans still now were playing WW2K games where the recent WW2K20 was so horrible that people actually rated the previous game WW2K19 positive from mixed. That's the influence WW2K20 had. The team that has been working with WWE for almost every game, Yooks, they left the company because of creative frustrations, leaving the 2K visual team to work on the WW2K20 game that made the game worse with millions of bugs. With AEW, another wrestling promotion similar to that of WWE as the competitor to WWE, it was only a matter of time before AEW released a game. And yes, they did. This new game is being worked by Yooks as well as the director of one of the best wrestling games, No Mercy, has returned to work on this new AEW game. The game looks sort of arcadey but it's too hard to say how the game will play because it looks like a big cutscene. It also looks very familiar to WWE All-Star games but the bodies are much bulkier. The game has no release date as of yet but AEW says that they will release updates on it soon. WWE earlier this year released WWE 2K Battlegrounds which is very similar to WWE All Stars which is being developed by Sabre Interactive and has got some positive reviews because the game is just fun to play. Even though Yooks has been working in wrestling games for a long time, there are still some problems in those games. A lot of things needs to be changed for Yooks to make a better wrestling game. So we will have to wait and see what they will make for the AEW game. On some other news, rumors came upon on yet another possible delay for Cyberpunk which was quickly shot down by the official Twitter account of Cyberpunk saying that December 10th for now is solid. Just remember, they said the same for November as well. Speaking of another news, Deathloop is coming to PC after all because a Steam store page has come upon where you can pre-order the game and the game is going to be launched on 21st May 2021. Well that is all it in this episode of Top Gaming News. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a like, comment down below what do you think about any of the news we just discussed and do not forget to subscribe to Gamer Connect for more awesome content coming up very very soon. My name is Given Menace and I'll check you guys out in the next upcoming videos. Until then, stay awesome and game hard.